Now is going to be a good time to uh, center your servos as our horns are attached um, left and right. And uh, servos, we're going to be using uh, Bluebird BMS 380 MGs. These actually have about 50 ounces of torque, which might be overkill, but you can better believe with a metal, metal gear servo with that much torque, you're never going to strip these out. Um, but that was what was recommended by uh, Superfly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I already have my transmitter set up with the program, Elevon mixing turned on, and I'm just going to center the servos up before I attach the arms. And this is about the easiest thing in the world to do. You just turn on your transmitter, make sure it's on. Uh, all of your trims are centered on the transmitter. You can hear them just pop to center. And that's it. Servos are centered, now you can attach your arms. One thing you will need to do with these uh, servo arms is you're going to need to clip off three of these points so you only have one arm sticking up. So just use a pair of wire cutters. I'm going to be using those right there to clip them all off and make it just a single uh, vertical arm. This is something I just like to do. Uh, before I install any servo and now we're going to get to the really tricky part and that's going to be installing the servos I highly 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 urge hook up your linkages first um, your uh, push rods rather first because you want to you know kind of get an eyeball on where everything belongs and when you are tracing out your servo holes and then getting ready to cut your servo holes with your soldering iron or whatever or however you're going to do it take your time there's nothing worse than trying to rush through something. I mean, if you do this right, it comes out looking so clean and so tight and everything just fits uh, so wonderfully. But if you really try and rush it, which I have, I'm a victim of rushing it, you wind up with holes that are extra large and you're filling it in and you put all this time into the plane so far and you wind up with something that just doesn't look 100%. Um, you know, I'm big on looks and performance. Looks and performance are married together, so. Another biggie in my book is making sure my um, clevises are the same length because if you look here you have your threading. Make sure that both of them are the same exact length from the, uh, the butt of the uh, clevis to the, uh, where the threading stops. Just make sure you have the same space. Again, just to keep your uh, controls all uniform once you install these. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these. These are uh, blunt end or unfinished end. Um, rods and I'm just going to put a Z-bend in the end of each of these. Another thing you're going to notice is that your uh, control rod does not fit through the holes on the servo with the arm that they give you. This is easily fixed. You just take a hobby knife and what you want to do is uh, put your hobby knife in the top hole and just give it, you know, give it four or five twists on each side. Push it, push it in using two hands. I'm just, you know, holding this up for, uh, to illustrate how it's done. And we're going to round out that hole, you know, back and forth with our hobby knife till it's just big enough to slide with a little bit of force the Z-bend through there and uh, then you have a nice snug, uh, snug fit on your linkage and there we go there's our linkage there's our Z-bend going through there and uh, it's pretty tight there is just a teeny bit of play but no uh, play forward or backward which is important